I want to control my outdoor lighting the smart way. Means with a smart application or either with Google Assistant or Alexa. But not only controller on the smart way, be able to dims of light, an incandescent light, a fluorescent light, or LED light. And you know, if you're talking about LED, incandescent, or fluorescent pipes, all those type of lights, right? You need different devices. Well, I'll give you one, one device that will do all those things and control it as well. Get it here, guys. So we have a controller in the app store. This is a little different too. This one comes with 10 feet normally. I review a lot of stuff in the channel. And one of these things normally comes with a small pigtail. And just this in a small pigtail where you're going to plug extension for. Now this one, the nice thing comes with the 10 feet. So also comes with an extension for. How are we doing everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxCNT.com. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you this right now and we're going to pair it all together right over here. First, 60 hertz, soaring up to 3 amps, maximum low, 350 watts, Holland, Hollington light or incandescent light, 350 watts. Just remember, this one is a dimmer. All right. This is a dimmer, not just a switch itself. Both switch and a dimmer in 150 watts LED or CFL. So I like the two light bulbs. And wireless frequency 2.4 GHz, no matter what, all these devices are 2.4 GHz. And remote, I use a smart life. I think one of those. Minimal requirement Android 4.4 or iOS 8 and up. And here we keep you, you know, pay attention to the device. It's not supported 5 GHz, that's all around. Do not support 5 GHz. Now these are smart switches. So, brand is control, yes, because it's the dimmer, remote control, time schedule with control. Sure, if you have a. Alexa go home, you're gonna do that. So they give you a warranty card, manual, and here we have it. Always follow the instructions there, give you a little warning. And here, what a proof. I guess you're gonna be using this in app door. That's your box, and you're gonna put this right to the box. All right, switch on and off. Let's plug this thing. All right, so we are ready to pair. Soon you plug in, you will see this green light blinking. It's required pair. You can still use it on and off. So remember this one is not a switch it's a switch but a dimmer as well too so we're going to use this to do dim lights either halogen light led light or incandescent light right switch will only turn on and off you will not be able to dimmer so this is nice if you want to sit in light outdoor okay, this is waterproof not only you can turn it off and turn it on but you're going to be able to dim these lights as well too so the way we're going to do it just download a smart life either is devices or android it's blinking make sure you are connected in a 2.4 gigahertz network at least for the installation only then you can switch back to 5 gigahertz if you have the data on turn the data off we kick the plus automatic detected what you can do is auto scan type auto scan and it will show up to be here as you see the screen right there i'm going to click here next see 2.4 uh, gigahertz network here will be the password of your own network so then we click it doesn't show you're gonna have to type your password you click ok you see that stop blinking already you already detected so it's find the device so it's gonna do the connection so we get the message Alex already detected and we're gonna change the name all right takes less than a minute so now, here we're going to change your name. This is in Chinese name right now. So we're going to click the name. We're going to call it whatever we want. Updoor light. Let's call it updoor light. And you can see where it's at. The living room now. It's not a living room. So it's going to be updoor. So let's just leave it that way. You can say that if you want. So we click done. We wait. The whole thing update. It's going to load up in a second. This is because of the first time in my phone. And then we're going to try with Alexa as well. All right. Let's turn it on. Turn it on back again. And you see here the brightness 100%. And going to click here and we can bring the brightness all the way to zero. Or almost like one. So now you can dim any light. Now from here, you can set the timer at the schedule. When you want it on. One time. During the day. Every day. Right, you can even change and change your brightness so you can see the brightness during the week, maybe on um, 
Monday to Friday, I don't know, 50%. And then Saturday, you can leave it 100%. And here we got some settings. What type of light bulb? So tap a light bulb. I should go see LED. That's wrong. So we're going to use halogen light. So we have a halogen light there. It give you a different uh, brightness mode. You can preset. If you see there, go back. And you save it. And that's the same right there. They show you the type of light bulb. Now to control with Alexa, if you already had the smart skills on a smart life, you see I have a lot of things here about controller and should work now. So if I say, Alexa, turn off outdoor light. Alexa, turn on outdoor lights. And now what happened and memorize my less settings. I can actually go to Alexa and I can set Alexa outdoor lights 100%. And it should bring that up to 100%. You see, this is pretty simple to set up. Then I will say the requirement is make sure you set your phone a 2.4 gigahertz network right only the beginning when you do the installation of the in the dimmer. Then after that, you can turn the data back again and you can switch your phone to 5 gigahertz. Since after that point, now your uh, dimmer is already connected to your own network. It will talk to the network direct, not through your phone anymore. And if you have a Google Assistant, well, once again, Alexa, it will actually work automatically. It should detect that as long as you have the smart skills already added into your Alexa application. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.